say about this summer? You can't even. Oh, y'all had tr plans? <laughs> you want to take a trip with this bitch? What the fuck is going on? Y'all gonna be outside? So I, have, I just have to pick a fucking cover. <laughs> y'all look like busted can of business a long ass day. <laughs> Let, let's you go through your nigga phone. We know you ain't got no titties. <laughs> gone. Everything okay, gone. Everybody know, nigga. <laughs> ain't nothing like, like boom, losing your appetite for three months. Okay, about to get my lashes done because it's bad bitch season and I'm not looking like the bad bitch. Mm. I used to want to be referred to as a bitch because I'm not a bitch. But one thing I am is a bad bitch. Period. All right, bad bitch, it's time to turn up. Get these damn brows done. Coo, goo, coo, goo, coo, goo, 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 goo. Sheesh. The fuck is that about? Bad bitch, Tiffany. Hey, yo. You already know what time it is. What time is it? Bad bitch time. Bad bitch time. I'm about to tap back in. Mm. Almost forgot to tap back in because what season is it? Bad bitch season. Mm. Bad bitch season. Hi, 2-5. Oh, what the hell is it doing? 2-5. Oh, my gosh. Bri is working, guys. Look, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we're here and live from Atlanta doing hot girl teams. It's giving very much hot girl in the morning, hot breath, hot everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Amethyst is still asleep. She's tired. Check in later, guys. You can get something to drink out of. Like, why is it like that? That shit sealed like a motherfucking letter. <laughs> Pour your own troubles, baby girl. I can't tell. Is that a good amount? I think it is. It looked little as fuck. I don't know. It good. Okay, cool. I can know all the things. That's the problem. That's why I need new friends. Because all of my friends <laughs> do everything bad. Bearson, are you taking a shot? Yeah. Up to it, down to it. Fuck those who don't do it. This motherfucker drink. Is that good? You might need a mix. Mix wrestling. Well, Kirsten has spilled her mimosa all over us. Now you see, you see the skirt? Is, is it giving? Is it good? But it's a dead body. It's a dead body. The girlies are asleep. This is why I cannot travel because literally I was asleep too. I'm not gonna lie because I felt miserable. I felt miserable coming here. So we drove here. We're flying back, but I felt miserable coming here. We went out to breakfast. I was all right. Then my head started hurting really bad. I don't know if it's like the allergies or what. And then literally the way back. The ride right back home, which are only, only nine minutes away, miserable to the point I got here. I felt like my fucking eyes were crossing. <sighs> so I had to take me a nap to try to feel better. And I feel all right. But now I'm kind of like, I don't even know if I want to turn up. One thing I can tell y'all is Elena greeted me foul as fuck. Last night we got here, ordered DoorDash. Do you know? Do you mother know? Samari or Jamaria, whoever you are. She stole my food. Jamaria, that's her name. Gonna use this as a picture to say she dropped my stuff off. Baby girl, that is in your hand. Why are you playing? So I was like, where is my food? Where? 
And she gonna say, the order is on the way and that the driver picked it up. You're lying. You're freaking lying. How? It say delivery. Then all of a sudden, she don't want to respond. Like, you a bum ass hoe. You are a bum ass hoe. Meanwhile, Kirsten, um, she ordered Indian food. And she's like, y'all don't want Indian food? Y'all don't want Indian food? We like, no. Her Indian food came. She smashed it and everything. And we were still sitting there just waiting. How was your sweet pudding pop? It was good. It was good. You're well rested. You <laughs> were so stupid. <laughs> you get garlic, something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's kind of sweet though. It's getting weird. Like you. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I hate to be your man right now. <laughs> you said you smell like me. I was telling her to get some wings one night. And they smelled like they had garlic or something on it. I love the nose breath. What the hell wrong with you, oh, girl? My, I like oh. my nose breath. But it's weird because his actual breath don't be stink. That is that's, that's the weird thing. But it's like, can I fall the nigga? Because if a nigga told me, you need to stop huffing and puffing, I'd be like, bitch. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Well, I'm going to tell you like this. You might as well start to slutty vegan because we're already eating. Um, All of us, actually. <laughs> what is it? You will be on the way. You will be the only person that has not had anything to eat. Um, it is nine minutes away from here, but I do not know where you are. Okay, that sounds like it's Four o'clock. He's still in bed asleep. Like he is. Is he okay? That boy gonna be deprived. He gonna be like, Meanwhile, my baby's be annoying. No, it's better mama say, this is why people don't want to keep you. Mm. Mm. You need to get yourself together, son. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like the first time he ever been away from you like that, right? Yeah, but that's not what it is. What it is is when he was sick, he got very spoiled mm -hmm. because he was sick for 10 whole days, throwing up, couldn't eat. So we had to hold him the whole time or whatever. And so all of before you could put him down and he'd be good, and now he's getting back to having to be by himself mm -hmm. and be independent. So he don't want you to put him down at all. And it's been on some shit where like he throwing a tantrum, not like he's whining, like screaming, crying, like bro. Mm -hmm. I text Chris when I said, bro, your son annoying as hell. <laughs> like, please. That shit, that shit just really, they can really take you there. Mm -hmm. So for it to be like you out of town, you away from your element, and it's like damn, ain't nobody give me. It's a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The more he does it, the more he gets. Yeah, we're sure you guys. Okay. Gonna be outside. One girl is like, yeah, like, what are y'all talking about right now? She's like, are you insinuating that if a young girl sits on a grown man's lap, he's gonna molest her? And that's what they were saying. Like, that's what the guys were saying. And I was just like, you know what? I said I'm gonna respond to her. I ain't gonna have no, I ain't gonna back look back and forth. So I was like, yeah, everything you're saying because my is acting very weird. And it's like, it's a difference between talking like out of like your trauma, which is uh, it's understandable. Absolutely. But it's this between talking out of your trauma or your limited perspective versus like what it could really be. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like not every person is going to molest. Not every, like if you sit in the lap of a grown adult man, that doesn't mean he's going to sexualize that to begin with. That's what that's the problem. That's what the problem is. That's what the problem is. But you know what? The you know, white mothers were saying that. Really? The white people were like, why are you sexualizing that? All the black oh, people were like, why are you sexualizing that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah that's you. But it's common in the black community because black moms teach you, don't be walking around here with no damn shorts on when it's a man. You going house. to your friend's house, Definitely you better put your long pants. Yes, but it's I'm a child. Out. Why do you just have to assume that a man is looking at me? I'm a kid. I don't have no ass. Like, I just and don't got me wrong. I'm, I'm I understand myself. safety, yeah, I did, but, but yeah, it's like yeah. it's sad that as a kid you can't even be a fucking kid. No, you can't. No, I feel like with the Pete Davidson thing. Well, I have a thing with saying like at certain age you should just stop just because you can sit on your own. <laughs> yeah, but 
If it's like convenience well, person, like, yeah, that's you different. Too different. That's too different. Yeah. As far as convenience person, that's that's different. Like I don't sit on my dad's lap, but if it won't no room, I would sit on his lap today. I'm just gonna be on the edge. Right. I ain't right. sitting like right this. On, yeah. I'm gonna just be like. But that's your comfortability versus them making like, oh, he trying to get close to the kid because the kid is sitting right now on his. But that tells a lot about the person who makes those type of. That's what I was saying. But what I didn't know is, um, they said that he's made a joke about having sex with kids before. Yeah, they and that. Yeah. Yes. Oh, well, and I'm like, no, that is where. No, the reason why I wouldn't do it if I was Kim is because a fresh boyfriend, no. Yeah. If like you really a stepfather, you've been in a life or whatever, and you really like as a fresh person, right. no, you know, like, sit beside us, like, right. or you can sit on my lap. But they look like they're like, no. you better fucking not. I will smack you as soon as I see you. Ew, you look cute with your hat on. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said I should buy more hats. <laughs> Basically. Basically. Because one thing about it, I look cute with my head on. Okay. <laughs> Don't be trying to lick your lips, nigga. Ew. Trying to be sexy. <laughs> That's nasty. We got to get back because I'm starting to get a headache before I keep drinking. I can feel my too. You said what? I slowed down for too long and I started to get a headache. Well, guys, you heard it here first. She's an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take the time to like work out. It's because when I suck my stomach in, I hate the way my stomach would look if it was flat. Cause to me, if the skin would look worse, mm -hmm. I'd rather actually have the fucking pouch than have the stomach that's flat and it's like, oh, hella dark, hella light stretch marks. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I just rather be what it is, and, I, and that's that's it. Well, it might it might would change though. I mean, I'm just gonna tighten up a little bit. Yeah, it might would change. Cause I, you know, who's a perfect example? Versus of that? like she be like going viral a lot. Oh, um, I feel like I know you talking about. She viral. had her son in fucking high school. But I've noticed, like, versus when, if I suck it in, I won't like it. But if I, like, because I feel like it's, like, something with your abdominals, the, like, after pregnancy, that you get, like, loose. But if you, like, tighten your core, I'm like, oh, I, I would look good with a little yeah, flat belly. Yeah, that's a real thing or whatever. And it's it's a it's actually a condition. One of the, um, um one of the twins, abdominal, um, Tamara or Tia, one of them had it, and they had to work with a specialist. And they were, like, they were able to get the muscles to contract back, but it took specific workouts that like only the specialists will know. It's abdominal something. something. I was talking about the literal name. It's called like diastasis or something. Diastasis or something. Yes. Yeah. Sheesh, well, this is what my stomach will yeah. look like. And she damn near have abs. Oh. But I that right there, that looks bad. I can't take yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's hard this, to that little thing, and I know it doesn't look bad, but that will bother the fuck out of me. Cause right now it just look like, oh, I mean, like my belly button. It just, it's still giving belly button. It's high. It's flabby. But <laughs> it's how high this button is. It is. It's really high. I'm like, does my belly button come above like where my pants come? My stomach is that high. I mean my belly button is that high. I have snooze buttons. Well maybe it's no, not. Maybe it's because your pants were like push it up. Yeah, push it up. Yeah, 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 belly button pop out. I think it's because where it was smushed. Mine didn't like pop up. It, was, it like almost did, but it didn't. Mine turned up a candle like an asshole or something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and I think that's amazing too because I thought mine was gonna pop out. It didn't. I thought it was gonna pop out. I'm like, oh my god, little Abby. It gave out the word pimple. Yeah, <laughs> never popped all the way out. Oh, it. it does. It did look hot for some reason. It's because but I think your torso is not long. long. No, I don't have a long torso. Mine's I had a kind of long. to push that bit. I don't have a long torso at all. Mm -hmm. It bothers me because these are high waisted pants, mm -hmm. but I did it because if not, this be busting out the sides and it don't look good for your shirt. But high waisted pants like my butt looks extra long. <laughs> That's probably why I was like noticed the longness because of like okay, it's a jean going up the back. Yes. But your butt So I have I just have to pick a fucking cover. <laughs> Y'all look like busted cannabis is a long ass day. I have to just take long ass day. I'm weak as uh, yeah, I'm gonna hide that bag. At least I can't see the long ass day. But it don't look good when I'm standing in the mirror and you can see my size and my stomach going over my jeans. Yeah. And the reason why I also like Kirsten, Kirsten said, like, your little belly, the reason why I also doesn't look really good is because I'm small. Mm -hmm. It's like you got a small build, but you got that weird ass extra fat. Like, I used to make me want to get um, my boobs done. You used to make me want to get my boobs done. Bro, I hate having flat little ass titties that don't look good. I think little titties are bomb. You can do so much. But more. I'm not going to get it though. I was like, bitch, I know if you see mine, you was like, let me be very cool. This is the longest shit. I was like, God damn. But that's because you have, you're, they're, they're so big. And I didn't realize how big they were until I'm like, damn, that shit hurt. They're huge. Mm -hmm. 
I wouldn't be able to function. Cause these mm -hmm. little double D, when I was breastfeeding, it was like these. I was like, this is a lot of titty. This is a lot of titty. Okay, and it also made my breastfeeding journey really miserable. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because my titty was so fucking low, but he needed to be high. Yeah. So I had to always use a pillow, but I would have to prop a titty up and then also try to have him on the pillow. My titty was in the way. Then I, I can't breastfeed like. Oh, the kid was like amazed. So she's like, "Yes, I just to pop the titty." I said, "No, I have to hold my boob back and hold Kai's head." It's like now he's older, so I can just sit him and I have to hold my boob back. But I have to hold my boob because if not, it will cover his whole face. <laughs> and at first, they were trying to tell me in the hospital, "It's okay, he can still breathe." I'm like, "He can't breathe because if I let it go, literally, I wouldn't be able to see him." And I was just like, "Oh, this is so fucking so terrible." Much, baby. I really, really, really want my boo job. You know, I was going to take my time to do that. But what stopped me was I was like, okay, right now, it's like, okay, but if I get these little boobs, that stomach might really fucking bother the fuck out of me because I'm going to really be able to see that bitch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then if I, have a, if I fucking tone it, that shit's also going to bother me. Mm -hmm. Like, and so I'm like, do I just need to be stuck with this fucking body? Mm -hmm. and How little were you trying to go? Me? Bitch. As little as they will let me. I know that's right. Mm -hmm. I get one as small as possible. I'll see. How how low can I go safely? <laughs> okay. Take it all. Take this shit. You know, they starting to um they put in uh fat transfers back starting to make that popular again, fat transfers to be. Which I think is very risky because it um, is because you can't control your fat exactly cells. like you, and it'll get grow, weight until yeah. they keep getting bigger and bigger. So that's scary. But or you you can lose weight and they'll you know this titty real small, mm -hmm. this one big, like it get real I had thought weird. about that versus the implants, but then, then I was like, hey, fuck that shit, your boobs ain't even like. And you would need more boob jobs, like people need multiple rounds of BBOs, because mm -hmm. you will be balancing fat all the time. Let, let you go through your nigga phone, we know you ain't got no titties. <laughs> gone. Everybody, okay, gone. everybody know, nigga. Mm -hmm. Ain't not that like, boom, losing your appetite for three months. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, how you down bad with the crack, okay? <laughs> like, how you get so small? Right? I can tell you, you got to damn remedy now. But you ain't gonna be able to eat for the next six weeks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, boy, I remember in college I went through that phone with me. Mm. The next day, Ryan was bringing me food to class. I you need to eat. <laughs> I was down bad. I don't think that's ever happened to me. I think I went through the phone and I just was like, because I want to throw up. And the crazy what was in the phone wasn't that bad. It was just, it just the fact that it was something mm -hmm. there. This bitch happened to me. Yeah, it's just, it's like it was embarrassing. That's what something. it came down to. Yeah. 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 It'd be embarrassing. Or you'd be shocked. You'd be like, oh my God. This motherfucker really talking to bitches or something like that. <laughs> you should be out here talking to bitches? Niggas was dead ass talking to bitches. That would not be the first time for me to do that. I wasn't too scared. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bitch, if I would have got pregnant then. I did, but I had to <laughs> Couple, couple babies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ashamed of my game for oh, right to Walgreens. Hey, it's me again. <laughs> what you need today? You need one of them? Yeah, yeah. right. You know what I'm here for. You know the vibes. You know what I'm here